surprises me how clean you people keep your spaceports. If this were Huda, I'd be scraping alien gunk off my boots. Of course, if this were Huda, I couldn't be thrown into prison for spitting the wrong way. So come on, Agent. You're going to welcome me here to the Imperial homeworld? Welcome to Drummond Cast, Kalia. So glad you said it. I was starting to feel like I wouldn't fit in. Anyway, let's head down to the city. Keeper wanted us to see the Citadel. I'm guessing it won't be hard to find. Don't worry. This should be fun. Now let's... This is not your domain, Keeper. It is mine. It has always been mine. Of course, my lord. All you have built here, all you hope to control, it falls apart as easily as a human life. An hour ago, the Minister of Intelligence dropped to his knees and wept before me. You would do so too, if not for fear of being humiliated. Your dissatisfaction is clear, my lord. It will be remedied. Now I'm asking you humbly to leave. These people are suffering in your presence. I will leave my domain at the moment of my choosing, Keeper. You, Agent, you were the one sent to Hutter. Is that correct? That's correct, my lord. I am Darth Jadus. You served me well in your dealings with Nemro. You will serve me well again. It would be an honor. Sublimate your desires to those of the Empire, and you will go far. Keeper, you will use this one. He will complete the assignment as I have instructed. He's quite capable, my lord, but he lacks experience. A more seasoned agent? I have made my decision. I wish the situation resolved before I leave Drummond Kass. See to it that my will is done. Very well. I'll make arrangements. Congratulations, Agent. You've made a friend on the Dark Council. I don't envy you. Jadis mentioned an assignment, sir. That's correct. I want you outfitted and ready to leave as soon as possible. Grab your equipment from the lockers and meet me in my office. Once we're through with your debriefing, we'll discuss your next mission. Come in, Agent. Let's talk. Kaleo, wait outside, please. One of the watchers will handle your debriefing. We need to talk about my terms. I promise you, you'll be well compensated. You can discuss the details with the Watcher. If you say so, you two have a good time. Sir, I've been reviewing the report of your activities on Hutter. You were busier than I'd expected. I got the job done. If that's a problem, you should change your expectations. Maybe I should. You were extremely effective in your mission, and I'm impressed by your efficiency. You used violence as a tool and not a crutch. Not many agents find that balance so easily. So I wonder, why did you join Imperial Intelligence? I joined to serve the Empire and its people. Idealistic sentiments. A pity in some ways. You may find yourself disappointed. This isn't glamorous work. We are sanitation workers. We clean up after the military and the Sith and do the jobs no one else will. Without us, though, the Empire falls apart. So we do whatever is necessary, even if it's thankless and ugly. You understand? With respect, that's your view, not mine. Think about it, Agent. For your own good. Now as to your next assignment. One of the mandates of our organization is to eliminate dissidents and terrorists within the Empire. We've located one cell of radicals here in the capital working toward the violent overthrow of our government. We must know precisely what these terrorists plan. Should be straightforward. We've intercepted chatter suggesting the radicals are planning a major attack soon, but we've only identified a handful of cell members. You will investigate the cell and obtain its plans. You'll have two operatives assisting you and full support from the Citadel. Who will I be working with? Watcher 2, please come to my office. Bring Khalil Danis with you. Watcher 2, huh? That's a pretty name. Is it Twi'lek? It's basic. Unlike many civilizations, the Empire teaches its children how to count. Watcher 2 reporting, sir. Khalil will be your aide in the field. She'll report to you and take your orders, since you seem able to handle her. I'm making you look good, Agent. You should be grateful. Meanwhile, Watcher 2 will be your liaison to base. She'll stay in contact remotely and provide you with mission details. I've heard a lot about your species. Your unique skills should complement the team well. 
It'll be my pleasure. Just my luck, I managed to catch your watcher's eye. I'm the product of six generations of selective breeding. I can plot hyperspace routes in my head. You'll forgive me if I'm not charmed by an alien. If you're done, could you sum up the present situation? Our primary lead on the Radicals is at the site of a slave rebellion beyond Kars City. You've been outfitted with all necessary equipment already. Once you're in the field, signal me via Holo Communicator and I'll brief you in full. You said I'm heading into a slave rebellion. We have troops cordoning off the area, but you should still be on your guard. We'll talk more on site. Remember, you're not undercover. Identify yourself as an intelligence officer if you need to, and use the fear that it creates. You're on Imperial soil now, Agent. Agent, I'm pleased to see you, of course. But I thought you'd be busy with the mission, just as well, I suppose. I'm still plotting the details. So, what can I do for you? I figure if we're working together, we should get to know one another. I already know all about you, though. I saw your whole performance on Hutter. If we talked and shared, you'd be the only one learning from the exchange. And that wouldn't really be fair now, would it? I'm sure there's something you could share with me. You really want to know who I am? I'm someone bred for genetic superiority and raised to be a watcher. I enjoy my work, but I don't like getting close to my agents because they usually get killed. Now we've both got work to do. Contact me via Holo Communicator when you're on site and ready to go, okay? Anything for you, beautiful. Don't call me that again. What is it you do around here? I don't intend to disappoint anyone. You're the new alien, eh? Well, let's see how that works out. I'm fixed at 12. Used to be a field operative, but these days, I keep this place running. You must be an old hand at this. Any wisdom to share? You want advice, eh? Stay away from politics. People here will tell you that the Sith interfere with our work. Keep us always fighting with the Minister of Intelligence, that sort of thing. Maybe they're right, but it doesn't matter. Our job's to obey orders. Our job's to deal with the enemy. You're absolutely right. Then you can consider me a friend. Imperial Intelligence needs more agents like you. I need to get back to duty. But remember our talk. You have potential. I'll try to keep it in mind. Good choice. Be careful out there. Oh, hello. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't expect you to come over. You're the field agent from Hutter, right? I'm, I'm Watcher 3. How do you end up working with Imperial Intelligence? They recruited me. I used to work under the Ministry of Logistics, managing Holonet security. Intelligence wasn't exactly my dream job, but uh, I wasn't going to turn Keeper down. Surprised I even got a Watcher designation. If I can manage it, I'm sure you'll get a title soon. No one's ever explained how the designations work. Keeper assigns the categories. Watchers analyze data, monitor targets. Minders handle internal security. Ciphers are infiltrators. You get the idea. The number is just to identify individuals. It's not a rank, really. Of course, there's only one Keeper. Anyway, I should get back to work. I'm on surveillance duty and I don't want to miss anything. Good man. Make sure that you don't. Of course. Watcher 2 here. I'm receiving your signal. Mapping your location now. Glad you made it through the jungle safely, Agent. Ready to work? I'm ready. Just standing by for the details. You may have noticed the chaos out there. There's a slave rebellion going on and you're heading into the middle of it. 
our analyst charged with monitoring the rebellion is with me. His name is Lodenk Kashar. He can fill you in on the details. How did the rebellion start? What's really going on? The Imperial Intelligence is leaving concerns about the rebellion itself to the military. You're here for a specific slave, an alien named Jurathus. Are we talking about a violent extraction, killing rebel slaves? Don't make this difficult, Agent. Jurathus was once owned by an anti-government radical who used slaves to carry messages to like-minded dissidents. Can I negotiate with them somehow? These people are traitors, not objects of sympathy. Besides, Lodanth has a better plan. One way or another, I'll make sure he talks. Another reason why it's useful to have aliens on staff. In any case, good luck. I'm sure I'll have a good time. I mean it, Agent. Be careful. I don't like watching a partner get killed. You should find your targets inside the camp. Take a slave down, apply the serum, and locate Jurathus. This is the only way we can learn what the Radicals are planning. I'm running. Chest hurts. Something's in my head. Rain's coming down. Everything's sinking into the ground. Potent staff. I haven't seen anyone zoned out like that since Nar Shada. I, th I think I know you, but I... I don't remember anything. I, d I don't know what you want. Everything hurts. I'm looking for someone. Can you help me? I, I can help you. Let me help you. I don't know what to do with my head. Please tell me. Obey me. Tell me about Jurithus. Jurithus? Jurithus is gone. Day is gone now. It all goes so slowly. Jurithus burns and starts to look like our Colossus. Incomplete. Uh, Jurithus died fighting in the jungle. I don't remember why we were fighting. Jurithus died, I know that. Listen to me carefully. I need to know where Jurithus died. Jurithus died with Saturn and Raneth. And Avira, all aliens, all friends, all fighting beside the foot of the statue. Jurithus is still there, if the beasts haven't eaten him. I really appreciate your help. What should I think about now? I, I don't know what to do with my head. I don't know what to do with my hands. It's time to stop fighting. Go and surrender yourself to the troops. The troops? I don't know why I fought them. I'm going to them. Guess he didn't have much dignity, but I wouldn't want to be him when he. I was expecting to hear from Watcher too. Put me through. Nathan, you're to suspend all field operations immediately. You're needed elsewhere. Needed for what, sir? An urgent matter. Darth Jadis wants to speak with you. You will proceed to his chambers for an audience. You've met Darth Jadis, experienced his power. I suggest you treat him with respect and do as he asks. Yes, sir. I'll keep that in mind. 
For what it's worth, I tried to shield you from this, but it seems it was unavoidable. You will resume operations when this is finished, Agent. Keep her out. Well, that didn't sound so good. Still, powerful men are the same across the galaxy. I'll bet your life that whatever else Jadis is, he's a power. The Ratataki must remain outside. The Master has not requested her presence. Looks like I'll have to miss this one then. Real shame. You don't have to go, Kaleo. Listen. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Now that I'm a loyal Imperial agent, who am I to defy the Dark Council's wishes? Come, stand before me, and revel in the power of the Dark Council. Allow your body to betray you, allow your blood to boil and your heart to slow. Everything that is not of the Dark Side will be purged, or it will be tainted. This is inoculation, Agent. This is a sacred rite. You are privileged. It is an honor, my lord. It has been earned. This is your due reward. You proved yourself by outmaneuvering the hearts. Now I choose you to exterminate the dissidents who would destroy our way of life. I sense your uncertainty. You wonder why I involve myself in this affair. Why I take an interest in you and Imperial intelligence. As you say. Many in the Dark Council hold themselves above the mundane business of the Empire. I believe this is a mistake. I believe we must spread the ways of the Sith to the Empire entire, plant terror and hatred in every heart. I believe in the democratization of fear. But these dissidents threaten all progress. Left unchecked, they would reduce our world to ash and raise nothing in its place. What do they want, aside from the destruction of the Empire? They want what children want. Unlimited freedom without responsibility. This makes them no less dangerous. Do not underestimate our enemies. They are powerful, and there are those who sympathize with them. People at the highest levels of government. I chose you for this assignment, not only because of your successes, but because you are an outsider. An alien whom your superiors disdain and overlook. Your loyalty is uncompromised. I believe I understand, my lord. Good. Watch those around you, and trust no one. I will leave Drummond Car soon aboard the Starship Dominator. I will travel with a thousand dignitaries, diplomats and slaves, and show them the galaxy as I envision it. When I return, I expect the dissidents to have been purged. Kneel before me now and I will ensure that you have the means to succeed. I kneel before you, my lord. I have remade the pitiful creatures around you into my image. So shall I remake you into the vessel for my power. Now go from here, and return to your duties. Yes, Lord Jadis. Remember what I have said. Remember that you walk the path to power. And remember that I am... I'm here. What's the situation? This is Watcher 2. We're still working on full analysis of the slave's files, but we have a new lead. Proceed to the Nexus Room Cantina in Car City. I'll brief you once you're in place. I'll be there shortly. Anything else? Just make sure you're ready to socialize. This is Watcher 2. Signal established. I've tapped into the Cantina Holocams agent. I can see you from six different angles. We're ready to go. Give me the rundown. So, Theovor Mindak is a genius inventor and entrepreneur working with the Radicals. Unfortunately, Theovor is being sheltered by the Sith Lord Grathen. Grathen turns a blind eye to Theovor's affiliations in exchange for weapon designs. I assume you're not briefing me over drinks for my comfort. No. You're here for a very specific reason. Dealing with Grathen directly isn't an option. He's involved in a power struggle with the other Dark Lords. In essence, he's gone rogue. However, Theovor's daughter, Samara, frequents this cantina. She has access to Theovor's workshop in Gratham's estate. I'll talk to her. What's her profile? Samara Mindak is rich, young, and willing to flaunt her advantages. She's popular with the caste city elite, but hardly beloved. No meaningful connections or reputation. Our profile suggests she'll cooperate if given incentives. I've located her in a private lounge. It's up to you how to handle her. She won't be a problem. 
Once Samara's told you how to reach her father's workshop, head to Lord Grathen's estate. Send us anything you find on Theobor's computers. Consider it done. Go. Put a Mandalorian to they can't escort a few trade shipments. It's not like we need them for the war. Stop obsessing about the mercenaries, Oban. You wish you could carry a Vira blade. You get vicious after a while, don't you? Sure. I'm gonna go talk to someone else now. She's a brat, but she's got spirit. Wanna break it? Oh, look at you. Enjoying yourself? Not the worst party I've ever been to. But it needs improvement, you know? I know what you mean. But things are looking up now. I get that a lot. Not usually from guys like you, though. Military guys, I mean. You are military, right? Not a lot of aliens walk in here without a chaperone. I figure you've got to be very special. Let's say you're right. Does that have an appeal? Maybe it does. Depends if you're more than just pretty skin and eyes. Tamara, be careful. You need to take this seriously. Shut up, Oban. I said I'm done with you. So, tell me, how can I serve the Empire? I came looking for a dangerous man. But I suspect you're much better company. Oh, forward. I like that. Though, my dad doesn't approve of military guys. Hard to know what they're really after. <laughs> I'm not interested in your father. Right now, I'm just interested in you. No. No, I don't think you are. It's him you're interested in, isn't it? <laughs> He's with Lord Grathen these days. Anyway, if you want to talk to Theovor, not sure what I can do. He isn't seeing a lot of visitors. I think you can help me. Give me a few hours and I think you'll be begging to help me. <laughs> Listen up! I'm pretty, but I'm not dumb. My father's inventions made us rich, so I don't want that taken away. No government seizure, okay? I want all his credits, all his property transferred to my accounts. Seem like a good deal? Watcher 2, I assume you're following along. Can we accommodate her? If the information pans out, we'll give you what you want, Samara. Well, <laughs> okay, good, then. We've got terms. Theavor's workshop is in Lord Grathen's estate. It's sealed tight. I'll give you my codes, but you still need a guard's keycard. I'll try to go easy on Theavor when we find him. Sure, but don't try too hard. We were never that close. You? You thought you could take me by surprise? But you can't. What do you want to bet this ends badly? Those were my daughter's access codes you used. Whatever you've done to her, I'll have my revenge. Calm down, Theovor. Your daughter is fine. Fine? Imperial intelligence doesn't leave people fine. You people took away my wife, stole her from my house one night, and never told me what happened. My only daughter grew up to be worthless, and now you've taken her from me too. I despise your kind. We can resolve this peacefully if you'll just listen to me. No. There won't be any peace until the Empire changes its ways. This is Watcher 2. I'm downloading the contents of Theobor's computers. Looks like blueprints, work he's done for Lord Grathen, and... Ah! Encrypted files. I should be able to decipher them if I cross-reference with the slave's datapad. Hmm. I don't like what I'm seeing. There's a timetable, activity convergences, indications of something big. Get back to base as soon as you can. What do you mean by something big? Not sure yet. The encryption's good. Good enough that I can't talk and think it through at the same time. I'll see you soon, Agent. Watcher 2 out. Watcher 3, I need that link up to the Dominator. If Lord Jadis wishes to observe, we must accommodate him. Establishing Hololink, sir. Data flow is synchronized. Glad you found the time to pay us a visit, Agent. Take your place. The briefing starts now. Yes, sir. Lord Davis, are you receiving our transmission? I am. Proceed, Keeper. Very well. You all know we've been attempting to determine the dissident's plan of attack. Thanks to recent operations, we have the information we need. Unfortunately, the news is worse than we expected. A major strike is imminent. The dissidents are targeting the ancient power conduits that run beneath the capital. Why target power conduits? Why not something more vital? 
Their intention is to overload the power grid, causing a cascade failure that would detonate the power relay stations. The resulting explosions would kill hundreds of people, and the blackout would leave us vulnerable to further attacks. Sir, aren't all access points to the power grid under military control? All but one. The terrorists intend to access the power conduits through the Dark Temple. I'll sum up for those of you unfamiliar with the history. The Dark Temple predates Drummond Castle's colonization. It was sealed by the Sith during the city's construction. When the Dark Council opened it some months back, they found it inhabited by force-driven phenomena. Workers on site began disappearing inside, controlled by unknown entities. But whereas we saw the Dark Temple as a threat to be contained, the Dissident saw it as an opportunity. The temple rests directly above a key power junction. If the Dissidents can push past the, um, phenomena, they can access the grid. These Dissidents have been planning. They have supplies, maps, and weapons, and they're not counting on making it out alive. This is a suicide run. That won't make things easy. They'll only fight harder. We have security footage of dissidents heading toward the Dark Temple. A full squad of operatives will pursue the... No. My lord? There will be no squad. The Dark Temple is sacred ground, and will not be unduly disturbed. My agent will go alone. I'll make sure the job is done. My lord, I strongly urge you to reconsider. If the dissidents succeed, we... The spirits of the temple must not be disturbed. Not by terrorists, and not by Imperial intelligence. One agent will suffice. My role here is finished. Do as I will, Keeper. Very well. Then the decision is made. You will go to the Dark Temple, stop the Radicals from reaching the conduits and detonating their charges. Let's get this done. Good man. We'll monitor you as long as we can, but the Temple blocks most transmissions, so just, um, good luck, Agent. When I get back, we should celebrate. Just you and me and a couple of drinks. No promises, but whatever gets you through the mission. Go on, Agent. The Dark Temple is waiting. You! Are you with the military? I heard the shots, but I wasn't sure. I can't believe you actually followed us in here. None of us are going to make it back out. You know that, right? I know you're one of the terrorists. Tell me what's happened. I'm one of the terrorists, all right. Like everyone you kill. That's why we decided to make a stand. To terrorize. I'm the last one. A dozen of us came into the temple and the rest are dead. Or gone. Same with you, I guess. You failed. There's no shame in that. But there's no sense in fighting, either. You think you've done some great thing by tracking me down? You can shoot me now. You can save the power grid, preserve the Imperial lifestyle for a little longer. But there are other cells. They'll keep fighting. Calm down and I'll get you out of here. You're not leaving. No one is. This place is death, don't you get that? You can't stop me. You have to kill me. Shoot me now, Imperial, before the ghosts get into your head. Listen, it doesn't have to happen like this. Yes, it does. I saw what happened to my friends. I took comfort in the fact that I'd die when we took out the power grid. Have mercy! Kill me now before the ghosts come! Here, take this med pack, patch yourself up, and get out of here. You're serious? Look, I... Let me turn myself in. I'd rather face torture than the things down here. Watch your back, and don't do anything stupid. I'm going to do my best. We've got wreckage coming down over the city. From that height and at that velocity, the collateral damage alone could cost millions. If the reactor core was breached, the radiation damage will... I don't care about the radiation damage, dammit. Get me security footage, communications logs, something we can use. Shouldn't someone be celebrating our successful return? All military channels are reporting in. The Dominator has been completely destroyed. What's the situation? It's good to see you. There was a secondary target. Apparently... Archer 2, I still need confirmation. And you, Agent, get ready to move. We need everyone operational. Sorry, sir. But there were over 3,000 people on that ship. Half of them civilians. I'm aware of that. Do your job, Watcher 2. Run the numbers. Lockdown procedures are in place. All traffic has been grounded. Initial analysis is done. Cross-checking with the droids. 
Getting conflicting reports from the Car City spaceport. Trying to sort it out. Nothing could have survived that explosion. All sources confirm casualties are 100%. Then Darth Jadis is dead. Who did this? What happened? There was an explosion aboard the Dominator. We're not sure about the origin, but it has to be connected to the dissidents. Darth Jadis was leaving on a special tour of the Empire. He brought military personnel, civilians and Sith to his flagship as part of some grand vision. Now they're all dead. How are we responding? Standard planetary security procedures. No one goes anywhere until we say so. Sir, we've got a starship trying to take off. Several dissidents from the watch list are aboard. Military squads are moving to intervene. They'll blow the ship to pieces. I want the terrorists alive and I want their computer intact. You, Fixer, do we have any Sec-M units available? What? I don't... The Sec-Ms, the mouse droids. Find one and bring it back now. Whatever ordeal you went through in the Dark Temple, your recovery will have to wait. I need you in the field. I'm ready to go, sir. One moment. Fixer! I have to do it here. Good. Agent, I need you to get to the city cargo port. There's a terrorist ship attempting to take off. Take the mouse droid and deliver it into one of the ship's maintenance conduits. With the droid aboard, we can disable the hyperdrive and download its computer contents. Let me stow away. I'll handle the terrorists personally. No. I appreciate the sentiment, but it's too risky. We do this my way. Get going. We need you to plant that mouse droid. Any conduit on the ship's outer hull should do. And when you're back, we have things to discuss. Welcome back, Agent. Excellent work out there. Absolutely excellent. The mouse droid has just sent the contents of the ship's computer, sir. I'll send the military to pick up the dissidents. At least one thing's gone smoothly today. The worst seems to have passed, but don't expect to rest any time soon. I'll be ready when you need me. I know. And you will be needed. With Jadis dead, there'll be a mad rush to fill the power vacuum. We'll be fending off our own people with one hand and tracking down terrorists with the other. Keeper, I'm receiving a transmission. Someone's broadcasting a holo recording to the entire Imperial Communications Network. The terrorists want to talk. I say we should listen. Patching it through now, I'm going to try to pinpoint the source. Citizens of the Empire, this is the Eagle. I'm here to tell you that our government is corrupt. When the Emperor signed his treaty with the Galactic Republic, we were promised a new epoch. Glory unrivaled since the first Sith dynasty. Instead, our Empire has suffered. Apathetic moths and wicked lords of the Dark Council vie for power, while our soldiers die over worthless planets in nameless star systems. Typical consolidationist rhetoric. Watcher 2, keep trying to find a source for the broadcast. Everyone else, start pulling up our files on the Eagle. You've heard of him before? We've been hearing rumors about the Eagle for years, but we never thought he could pull off anything this big. Another mistake. Anyone who speaks out in favor of reform is kidnapped and tortured by Imperial intelligence. This must not continue. The Ministry of Logistics reports that they can't jam the signal. Everyone in the Empire is seeing this. A short while ago, a group of defiant revolutionaries destroyed an Imperial Dreadnought. 3,000 people were aboard, including Darth Jadis, a Lord of the Dark Council. We chose to strike at Darth Jadis publicly so that every Imperial citizen would know the truth. The Dark Council is not invulnerable. We can affect change. We regret the sacrifice of so many civilians, but it was necessary. The Empire cannot cover up this momentous event. Imperial intelligence cannot silence our call to arms. Get to the point, you piece of filth. What is it you really want to say? What do you mean? Here, here it comes. 
This is only the first step towards a better future. We have agents throughout the Empire preparing to strike again and again. We will not relent until our government chooses strength over weakness. Unity over discord. We will continue to show the anger of the people. This is the Eagle. End transmission. So, our enemy has a name. You think you can deal with that, Agent? It won't be a problem, sir. Glad to hear it. We've made mistakes today. We underestimated the Eagle. We were too slow to eliminate the dissidents. We assumed the Dark Temple was the sole terrorist target. But you performed above and beyond expectations. You showed you can handle these people, and now you're going to show us the way forward. I followed my orders, that's all. You followed them well. That's discouragingly rare. You are going to head our operation to dismantle the Eagle's network. You will locate and eliminate his terror cells through infiltration, manipulation, and assassination. I am assigning you a rank and designation as suits your new position. You no longer have a name. You will answer only to Cypher 9. I promise you won't regret this. Congratulations, Cypher 9. You earned this. Cypher 9, huh? Cute. But I think I'll keep calling you Agent. With the rank come certain privileges, including a degree of operational independence. You may recruit your own operatives and you will be outfitted with a starship. Watcher 2, you will remain Cypher 9's liaison to base. I assume that won't be a problem. No problem, sir. Glad to stay a part of this operation. Good. Begin analyzing all reports on recent dissident activity. I want a list of possible terror cell locations within the hour. The Eagle says he's got agents around the galaxy. Assuming he's telling the truth, you're going to be doing some traveling. I'm looking forward to it. I thought you might. Your starship is at the spaceport. It's been refit and removed from public record. Watcher 2 will upload likely activity centers for the Eagle and his network. Proceed to your targets as you see fit. Any final instructions, sir, or is that all? Be careful of these people, Cypher. Destroying the Dominator was no mean feat. Killing Darth Jadis was nearly unthinkable. But this is our job. Do whatever is required. And good luck. Cypher 9. It's going to be a while before I'm used to saying that. Looks like we've got a moment of calm. How are you handling everything? I was going to ask you the same question. I appreciate the concern. Honestly, I don't know. The situation with the Dominator shook me. How is it that I can torture a colleague without feeling a thing? But 3,000 dead strangers is too much to handle? After what's happened, it sounds like a normal reaction to me. I suppose there's some small comfort in that. Thank you. Anyway, I shouldn't bother you with this. I've been monitoring you for too long. I'm starting to think of you as a friend instead of our alien agent. Why stop with friendship? We're close. Why not get closer? Cypher, I have great respect for your capabilities, but we aren't compatible in the least. It's been a long day, and I've still got to send our reports to the Minister of Intelligence. I'm sure you have plenty to do yourself. Take care of yourself, all right? And you.